Tonight is January the 15th, 2018, and um, since I started playing around with these um, little line matching transformers, these 70 volt, here's some really pretty ones that I bought. Um, what I have been doing is measuring them in just about every aspect I can. Some of the very good things that I have found out is that the inductance between uh, where the center tap is supposed to be and each end where the plate would go like in a push-pull uh, amplifier is very good it's very well balanced there's about six Henry's in this choke right here from from uh, one end to the other yeah, that would be 8K, and the center tap would be at the 2K point, and it's one and a half Henry's from the center tap to one side, and one and a half Henry's from the center tap to uh, the other side. You know, the top and bottom of the uh, of the uh, primary winding, if you want to call it that. I'll show you here what I'm what I'm trying to say, and that is uh, like for an 8K winding. You know, it's got a bunch of taps in it, but if this is the 8K up here, and this is common, the center tap would be at uh, 2K, and I have about 1.5 Henry's here, and I have 1.5 Henry's here, and the way that this works together is you take the square root of this one, and you take the square root of that, and then you add the two together, and then you square that number, and then you get, what you get is six Henry's, so you got six Henry's. Uh, from one end to the other. This is pretty good. This is all real cool. And this side over here is where you have the common and and the four and eight ohms or, or whatever your secondary is. So uh, in that aspect these guys are really really nice. But there's another really unfortunate thing to them. And I'm going to try to show you this right here and it has already been mentioned by some of you guys and there may be a solution to it that's already been recommended by a uh, a viewer so let me show you what happens here okay here's the six henry's that we're looking at see right here we got our meter in h for henry's times one that means you multiply this scale times one and as you can see i'll turn it up a little bit this is the q so we, we, we dip the Q and then we uh, measure the L and the L, see where that dip, so you measure that close to 6, 5.75. Uh, okay, that's great. So we're winning right now. Now, there is another method for measuring the uh, incremental inductance of these transformers, and that's by this method right here. Um, you, you put capacitors, some large capacitors. I'm using 68 microfarad, 100 volt, non-polarized capacitors. If you put capacitors in series with your transformer straight out to the meter, which is the way it's hooked up right now, this won't affect your inductance reading. You could put them in, take them out, you'll get the same reading. But what it does allow us to do is to put a DC voltage from a little variable power supply or however we want to do it and an ammeter across it so we can start uh, putting DC current through this uh, coil through this primary coil Let's see I've got it drawn backwards here I've got the common and 48 on this side and the high impedance side over here so that's what we're going to start doing we're going to start uh, magnetizing this core and at the same time we can read the inductance well right now I've got the resistance up at 10 mega ohms, and uh, we don't have any effect. If I take it off, I think it actually does. No, it doesn't affect it. Okay, I just took it. I put it back. And, and what? Excuse me. What I'm using here is just three uh, uh, one and a half volt AA batteries in series. Just a little bit of current. Well, I've got this one set up right here for uh, 700 ohms. So when I take the 10 meg out. We'll have 700 ohms in series with that uh, four and a half volts, and here's what happens. You see it pegged really hard right there, and then we have to go down here to a really low scale, I think 10, 
we have to keep this turned down so we can get a dip. We have to change our cue also. So we dip the cue. See how we're getting a dip there? That's good. We have to keep it up high enough we can read something. And then we and then we find where it's um, dipping at right there. Like oh uh, 5.4. And unfortunately, we're having to we're now and the millihenries and the scale of times 10. So 5 is 50. So that's 54. So that's 54 millihenries. And the current is on the 12 milliamp scale. We're drawing just over 4 milliamps through the primary and with four milliamps through the primary the inductance drops to 50 millihenries so this will not work for a single ended amplifier not gonna work it's gonna saturate I mean it's virtually saturated it is saturated at four milliamps and if I start cranking this down say that's 600 ohms I'm gonna start going uh, I mean 700 I'm gonna go six five four like that and watch what happens okay that's 700 there's six five four three hundred ohms now what it, what has our inductance dropped to maybe hard to read now well, we can still read it gotta do our cue See, our, uh, our current is up to uh, 7 milliamps. With just 7 milliamps flowing through that thing, we multiply this times 10, that's 25 millihenries, thereabouts. Won't work for a uh, single-ended amplifier. Well, that dashed our uh, hopes against the wall, didn't it? Well, there is possibly a solution to that that a, uh, a viewer posted in one of these videos and what he suggested was this. This is your output tube. It could be a 6V6, EL84, 6L6, whatever it is. And you come off the plate of it, you know you've got to feed high voltage to this plate and you, and you, you feed the high voltage, the plate load is an inductor. This could be a little power supply choke. It doesn't have to be a lot of current. But it probably needs to be up around 50 henrys or so. That's my guess. Maybe 10 henrys would work. I haven't modeled it yet. That might be an interesting uh, project. But you use a choke for the um, for the plate load. This is not terribly uncommon. It's not common, but it's not unheard of. This has been done and is done in some amplifiers. And then you put a capacitor in here, several microfarads at high enough voltage so that the voltage that you're applying here you know whatever your B plus is is not going to damage it and then you put the little transformer out here this way you have no DC flowing through the transformer just AC this probably would work this needs to be modeled in the LT spice to see how it performs that wouldn't be too hard and then you could use this for a single-ended output transformer and it would probably be okay. Now if you we want to use it for a push-pull amplifier and uh, we um, use a center tap like the 8K, the common to 8K to the and the 2K center tap, I'm afraid that it's going to be so sensitive to the core being saturated that it's probably not going to work because if the imbalance, you know, how we're going to have a tube here and a tube here, you know, feeding a push-pull circuit. So if, if, our, if our imbalance is um, even off just a little bit, I think the uh, transformer is going to saturate. So for a push-pull amplifier, it probably isn't going to be very good either unless we went back to one of these kind of uh, feeds so that we could completely keep the DC off of this uh, off of this line transformer. Yeah, these line transformers as, as has been mentioned in some of the videos are made for no DC and uh, I've just made the measurements here and otherwise they are just they are really nice 
how well the uh, inductance is balanced from each side to the center tap. I was so thrilled by this thing, but um, it saturates so easily. See, this thing is 7 milliamps. And it's down to uh, 20 millihenries. That's basically no inductance, and with no current flowing through it, if I take the thing off, we have to go back up to uh, high. Uh, well, we have to go way back up here to Henry's. There may be some residual magnetism in the core that may not let it. Uh... No, it looks like it's going to be okay. See, there's where it nulls right there again. See, there it is back to its where it was almost six Henry's see this is Henry's times the scale we're measuring Henry's and the scale is times one there you go sad but true we could have no DC flowing through the uh, primary of these little uh, transformers